product focus Friday, this lovely Friday. We are still playing with crepe paper. This is a, I'm gonna play with a 2014 um, notes and things collection. Um, and it's also cut files is our prompt today. So this is also a confessions of a paper addict cut files design team layout. I have the freebie for this month, um, which is this beautiful heart. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I'm thinking I might use it as a stencil like many of my amazing crafty friends have but I also am thinking about backing it with papers from here uh, from this collection I haven't quite decided but then I also cut out this love you um, title which was a new release for this month and I have these two adorable photo strips of my son in his um, one little cousin that I figured we would feature on here and then I kind of maybe want to play with some of the frames and things in this um, kit that I got as well so um, that's kind of my plan I know it's not the best plan to give you it seems very um, not planned <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is what I'm thinking so far. So let, let's get started. Let's get started. So sometimes I know what type of technique I want to do. Sometimes I know what my end result is going to be. Sometimes I know what I want to play with, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if everybody else is like that, <laughs> but that was the case um this time but after so after i walked away and i was kind of tidying up some of my scrap um my scrapbooking stuff i actually finished my december daily you'll see that video on the 25th and i was actually putting that stuff away like disassembling where i was keeping my kit and then i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna emboss i have i've been embossing lately but before this layout, I haven't been embossing much and I love the look and I really kind of wanted to get like a marbly look. I wanted to ink blend or wanted to do something to make the hearts colorful since I knew I really kind of had an idea that I knew I wanted to use this pattern paper from this kit. Um, and then I decided, you know, what, I don't want something super bold, but I want something subtle and but bold enough that you're going to see it. Um, so I decided to emboss and I'm to try to get like a marbly look. Uh, I'm going to mix, mix embossing powders. So you kind of saw me do it for that first section. I did this in sections just because I didn't know how long the embossing ink um, would stay wet. I know it, ca it stays wet for quite a while and that's the whole appeal of it. And that's why it's used for embossing ink because it stays wet for a while. It clings to stuff, but, um, I wanted to make sure, uh, and then I was okay too that if I overlapped colors because I'm trying to get a mar more marbled, um, multicolor look. So I, what I'm using is I have just some plain Ranger, uh, white embossing powder. I have the old distressed tattered rose embossing powder, and then I have two new gl newer, newish glazes. I really like the glazes. They're kind of my favorite thing. Um, cause I like embossing powder, but the distress ones I don't like as much because they actually leave a texture. Like they stay textured and it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but this tattered rose one is really pretty, but the glazes are, um, transparent. So you could actually put stuff underneath and you could technically see through it. It kind of warps it a little bit. It almost like, it's almost like putting, um, liquid glass on top of it because it, it'll warp it but it's colored but you technically can see through it which is really cool so I mixed I have salvaged patina and um speckled egg so every time I got one of the new distress things I got the glaze except for for some reason rustic wilderness and I gotta look into that because I don't know why I didn't get rustic wilderness um and so yeah so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just pouring a little bit on and then the leftovers and so now this is one thing that kind of makes people sad but there's, there's, even though these containers are super small, there's, there's still a lot of powder in there. It goes a long way. So you can't pour it back in because now you have a mixture. So I could have kept this mixture to use, um, on different layouts, which I've done in the past, but I decided not to because I didn't like how it mixed, uh, completely, but I kept reusing it and then just adding a little bit of the white and the, um, and the tattered rose to get that effect. And you saw it, it was, it, I loved the way it was like, as it was happening, I was like, oh, I'm loving this. It was making me so excited. So then I trimmed it down and then I used a punch on the bottom, um, an old punch I haven't used in a really long time. And then I matted it on the craft card stock and 
it didn't warp much at all. It warped a little bit. Whenever you heat paper, it kind of warps a little. Um, and since I did the whole page, it warped a tiny bit. So that's another reason why I decided to mat it on the whole piece of craft. Um, that way it, um, it kind of holds it down. And I wanted to incorporate these craft stickers that had come in this kit as well. Um, there's like one that says smile that is gold foiled. One that says happy day that is gold foiled. And one that is like outlined in white and it says you are loved. So... I'm getting, I'm going to fossil with my photos for quite a while. Um, I really wanted them to set a certain way, especially with the title. I wanted it so I was okay with one of the photos getting tucked away and not seen because it was actually a duplicate, I think. Yes. Well, it was very similar to another photo. And then I wanted to make sure the photo on the bottom of the right hand strip was like nestled perfectly in between the L and the O and so and then I was mad at myself because I got it exactly where I wanted it and then I pulled it out to put the foam on the back so I'm just popping up the tops of them just to give it a little bit of lift um but yeah then I pulled it out to get the foam back and I was like well that was dumb because I had it exactly where I wanted it. I get it back to pretty much where I had it and where I wanted it but um just a little off but it's not it's not bad it's it's pretty much where I wanted it Um, so yeah, so I'm doing that. And then now I got all that glued down the title, everything. And now I'm just going to play with a little of embellishments. And I'd said something about the frames. I'd wanted to use more of them, but my, um, my photo strips were, um, so close together that the other frames kind of covered up and I didn't want to cover up any more photos when I kind of cut off two of them for sure. And even just adding this one frame, it cuts off one a little bit. I didn't like the sentiment though, because it's at our journey. So I covered, I trimmed down that smile one and put that on the frame and it fits on there like just perfectly. It's a little bit bigger, but it fits on there just perfectly. And then I'm going to tuck the happy day up on the top. I like the little um, clipboard and then the butterfly. And then I'm going to tuck the other one down on the title and then I'm going to add the word cuz. Um, so it says love you cuz. Like cousin. <laughs> Not because. Um, cuz is something I guess I've always said to some of my cousins. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. That's and then that's it. And then I grab these tiny tiny um, enamel hearts I got from Shadney's shop on Etsy. I'll have her linked down below as well. Um, I'm going to add a couple of the pink ones in a couple places, but that that's it. And I, I like, it's not like the clean tons of white space layouts that some people do. Cause I can't, I itch when I do them. I don't know why I tried to do them, but then I'm like, it needs more. Um, but it's, but it's clean and not over cluttered. And I think it's dynamic enough. Like it's that pop. So I like that a lot. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, links down below to the amazing Confessions of a Paper Addict Etsy shop and, um, and the Facebook group where you can get this freebie just this month.